Good morning. Today we are working on a 1999 Dodge Ram pickup 1500 model. This thing came in with a bad transmission. When it got hot, it would not move. What happened to this thing is a uh, spring in the torque converter broke and threw a bunch of metal throughout the transmission. Ended up stopping up the filter. And when it got hot, sucked all that metal up in there and it ended up not moving. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do to correct that besides doing this complete transmission rebuild, but there's certain update in the valve body you can do to help prevent that in the future. Okay, so we got our torque converter right here, and as you can see, this thing, one of the springs in this thing came apart and just kind of exploded and left pieces all throughout the torque converter. Um, kind of tore up the inside of the torque converter a little bit and tore up the, the clutch a little bit too so that was the main problem what it really did was throw metal all through the unit and clog it up okay the update we do in the valve body to fix this problem for lube and the converter is what they call a full-time lube and converter charge we like to call it a line to lube update and the reason why we call it line to lube is because this is your pressure regulator valve otherwise known as your pr valve and that regulates all the line pressure throughout your transmission now right here over on this little gap this is your pressure side and this little gap is a lube side so for your tor torque converter so we're going to take a little small indention it actually tells you to drill a 60 thousandths hole on that line marked x so right here you're going to take a little indention and allow a little cross leak between these two openings here which is going to create extra lube to your torque converter okay so this is what it looks like on the valve body here's our pr valve here's our switch valve there's my little indention that i've already made on this mop so to do this indention you can either use a drill bit like it says but i found that a little difficult so what i usually do is i take a little chisel and I put it to the side, put it to the side of the PR valve right here, to the side of it. That way I'm not hitting right over top of this bridge on the PR valve, All right? And I just take a little, it usually takes about two or three of them and you get a nice little indention right there. And then I take a flat file File it off like that, make sure it's nice and flat, where it no, creates no more cross leaks, and that's it. And then you create a nice line to lube update, which will lube your torque converter with line pressure, and uh, keep it nice and cool, and hopefully prevent it from having any more failures, or having any broken springs, or any hard part failures inside your torque converter. So that's it, please like and subscribe for more videos, and uh,